What is up guys, welcome back to a brand new video. My name is Raf and I'm a YouTuber based in Sydney. In this channel, we normally talk about food, travel, and the occasional street fashion. And this is one of those occasional street fashion videos. In this video, we're gonna take a look at my most anticipated sneakers this year, 2020. The Nike Sakai Vapor Waffle. Intro. Nike and Chitose Abe of Sakai has done it again guys, another hybrid sneakers. So in 2019, we saw the Nike Sakai LD Waffles do very well, as in it won sneaker of the year after all. In 2019, that was my most anticipated sneakers. And in this year, it's Nike Sakai again with the Vapor Waffle. When I saw photos of this pop up on the internet, first thing that came to mind was, wow, that kind of reminds me of the um, Balenciaga Triple S. I mean, do you think so? But this looks much better in my opinion. I love chunky sneakers because I normally wear baggy pants or baggy crop pants a lot. And even like my fits normally are quite baggy. Chunky sneakers are just good with those. They, they just go so well with those kind of fits. So this came out in Europe, here in Australia, and in Asia in, in the 6th of November. So I got my pair via supply store here in Sydney. Uh, there was a raffle for this. So this came in two colorways, the black and summit white, and this, the sail, and I think it's called sports fuchsia, 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 which is this red color here that's, that has sort of like, depending on the lighting, it can come out a bit pinkish, a bit purplish, but it's red. It's mainly red. So the two shoes that was put together to come up with this silhouette was the Vaporfly and the 1983 Pegasus. The biggest thing you'll notice with this, just like the Sakai from last year, is that it's got the two midsoles. I mean, everything in this silhouette is doubled up, you know? From the midsole, to the tongue, to the laces, the obvious swooshes, everything's doubled up. I mentioned this in a past video, and you would have heard this in, with other people, but Sakai is known for all the layering fits. Like whenever they design things, whenever Chitose Api designs things, she has layering in mind. So as you can see, and when you see layering, you see double up overlaying of things. You have the overlaying swooshes, you have the overlaying tongues of, um, on top of each other. You have the laces overlaying as well. And you know, double midsole. The, you also have a waffle outsole. Every detail in this sneakers is just doubled up. Really, you've got double laces, and moving up to the tongue area, you've got a double tongue, one tongue having Nike sportswear. And the other tongue has the um, label of the collab, which is Nike Sakai. So the upper has suede panels around the toe box area, coming up here to where the laces is, go towards the tongue area. So you're just like last year's LD Waffles, there's also a lot of mesh panels in the upper, around here and around there too. Going back to the swooshes, you've got overlaying swooshes here. You've got a fuchsia red swoosh and a black printed swoosh. You have the fuchsia red swoosh as well, which is made out of leather. It extends towards the back, the heel tab area, where you also have um, Nike Sakai label there. Unlike last year's LD Waffles, this one's got a pull tab. I feel like compared to last year's LD Waffles, this has got more support around here. And a lot of people seem to be worried around like this area. How if someone steps in like this area here, they feel like this will just easily come off. It looks very secure. It looks like it's been put together really, really well. I don't think you should be worried about that. The insole also has Nike Sakai printed in it. One of the main similarities from, um, from last year's LD Waffles is this year's Vapor Waffle feels more secure in my opinion. It feels more, it feels more plush doesn't feel as flimsy as last year's LD Waffles, but don't get me wrong, I do love the LD Waffles, but the upper in this, man, it feels more secure. So out of the two colors that came out, I was really eyeing this colorway, the sail colorway with a fuchsia swoosh. 
I generally love cream or white sneakers because I wear a lot of black fits. Either black pants or an olive green, raft green kind of pants. And just for me, a fit looks more cohesive. You, if you wear those kind of fits, I feel like it's more cohesive if you were wearing white or cream sneakers to go with it. So my true to size is size 6 US men's and it's a US 6 men's the wide side. My feet are sliding on the wide side and this fits me perfectly. So earlier when I went to the city and took this out for a spin, I decided to wear this fit. I'll put a photo on the screen. So the pants that I'm wearing in this photo is the Sakai fabric combo crop pants. So yeah, I decided to wear these pants because, you know, <laughs> it's Sakai and I feel like baggy crop pants or any crop pants would look so good in this Akai. Like you get to um, showcase the shoes a bit more. And let me show you guys just a quick on feet of these shoes. Just before we conclude this video, just three things I want to mention. Number one, stick to your true to size with this. Is it comfy? As I mentioned earlier, yes, it is super comfortable. Like the whole feel of it, from the upper to the midsole when you're walking, it's comfortable up here. It's breathable. You can wear it for hours, and it's very cushiony when you're, you know, when you take this out for a spin when you walk with it um, it's very cushiony and yeah compared to last year's LD waffles if you have a pair of the LD waffles I feel like the vapor waffle feels more secure the upper feels more secure yeah so that's a quick look and a short and sweet review my short and sweet review of the Nike Sakai vapor waffles if you got any questions leave a comment down below if I miss anything comment down below please I'd love to hear from you guys also comment down below what's your most anticipated sneakers this year like did it come out already it's still about to come out that's it for the short and sweet preview video guys hope you guys enjoyed and like this video if you did like this video please smash that like button if you haven't subscribed please do so hit the notification bell so that you're up to date with all my videos and that's it guys um hope to see you guys in the next video until then peace much love and i'm out